Hi friends, uh, welcome to Linux video tutorials. Uh, today's session I am going to explain about uh, compressing files and uncompressing files uh, using uh, uh, gzip and gunzip. Uh, gzip will be using for uh, compressing files that is uh, creating a zip files and uh, uh, using gunzip uh, will be uh, uncompressing files that is uh, extracting a files from zip files. This is the two uh, commands. And there are other two commands uh, which will be using for uh, archive files that is tar. So tar uh, is again command. Uh, there we have uh, different options. Uh, C option we will be using for uh, creating archive files uh, from list of files. Uh, then X option will be using for extracting files from archive file. Whatever you have created a tar file. So that extension will be tar.gz file. So this is a, a commands we will be using in the Linux, any Linux. So this is a example for uh, I'm using a Red Hat Linux here. Uh, first start with the zip and unzip. In my current working directory, let's uh, reconnect my session. Got uh, disconnected. Um, again, I log in to. Linux here, so here so login with the sudo root user. Now I'm in root user. Now you can see here there are list of files available in this my directory, current working directory. Okay, then so if you want to create a, a zip file, we will we'll be using for gzip command. Then, for example, I want to create uh, zip file for this file then you can see here now you can see a sample txt dot gz file has been created this is the file I have created for zip file now then if you want to extract this file again you can use gun zip then your zip file now you can verify here I don't have new sample zip file because I have already extracted now. So when you are using a gun zip, gun zip means so it will uh, extract files and it will remove your zip file. Okay. So it will be extracted whatever files available inside zip file then it will be removed for zip file. So this is the way we can go for using gzip and gun zip. gzip and gun zip. So gzip will be using for creating a zip file. Gun zip will be using for uncompressing of files. Same thing we can go for creating archive files using tar. Archive files using tar. So tar is again another command we will be using for creating archive files then we can extract from archive files. So that is C option we will be using for creating archive file. X option we will be using for extracting archive files. Then there you can see some other additional options here. Okay. So uh, G V F. Let's uh, start with one by one. So I'm creating a tar file here. Minus C for creating a new archive file. Then V. So V means it will like, give a complete uh, GUI information uh, when you are creating here. How many files has created? It will give the complete uh, number of files information in this. That is V verbose. Obvious, it will display uh, while creating that. Then you can use G uh, for uh, creating a uh, like whatever you have a compression Z and the F option uh, will be using for forcefully uh, archiving the files. That is F option. That is F option. Then same thing you can see here. I have mentioned ZVF. You can mention any order. So V Z F or F Z V or Z V of any order, but C is for creating X for extracting. Okay, then start with this. So I'm going to create Ravi tar files dot tar dot gz extension. Then my list of files. Tar. Now you can see here. It is showing a verbose here. That is, if you are using option V, it will be displaying verbose. For example, I'm creating another file. 
see here I'm removing the option V see here I'm removing option V then you can see here it is not giving a bubbles here you're not getting any information like how many files are getting added in this tab file so this is option V here if you use option V you will get a you know, list of files has been uh, compressed and archived into your tar file then so we can use tar.gz file or we can use directly tgz file let's finish this let's, again i am creating here we can create directly dot tgz file so tar.gz or tgz both are same both are same here now you can see again i am creating one more a file dot uh, tgz extension so this is the way we can go for creating archive files that is using a tar command so your fees option for forcefully compressing your files okay then uh, c is for creating v for verbose it will give the information uh, z for whatever you have a compression there are uh, plenty are uh, plenty of options available you can go to the uh, linux uh, manual okay you will get a more option then you can see tar help you will get a more option okay let's start with our uh, files you can see here there are plenty of files has been created now then how to extract how to and uh, archive those files so we can use again tar command but option will be changing that x option okay x for extraction so verbos then which file you want to see here now it is giving information now you can see this these are list of files has been extracted from your tar file that is archive file so that is option called x so option c we are using for creating a archive file option next we are using for extracting the files from your archive file extracting files from your archive file so we for option b it will give a information that is verbose then yep Will be forcefully compressing your files. Okay, you cannot mention you are creating a. Let's see here. Not creating. I'm not giving option F. Now you can see. Use option F to force compression. It is giving information. Okay. Compression data not written to terminal. Use option F to force compression. That is option F will be using for force compression. Then same thing. So if you're not giving the V, so it won't give any error, but you won't get any verbose information. So directly it will be created. You're not getting any information like list of files has been added in your archive file. So this is the way we can go for creating the zip files, then uncompressing your files, creating a tar file, as well as that is uh, compressing of a file then extracting files from your tar file extracting files from your tar file so when you are extracting tar files so your tar file will be available then files will be extracted but when you are going for gun zip so once you, once it extract all the files from your zip file it will be deleted that but in tar file only it will extract the files it won't be deleted your archive file okay this is the way we can go for creating uh, tar files, then uh, compression files that is zip, then uncompression using gun zip. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to get more videos from my channel. Thank you.